PMAC Movies back here again with my nicest white t-shirt. It just fits beautifully and it's comfortable and that's the main thing. Um, so I said I was going to be making a haul with some miscellaneous stuff, some box sets and all those things and this is that video. So we got some box sets, we got some used stuff I got. I think I showed off a bunch of this stuff in a live video but I'd like to put everything in an official PMAC Movies haul video. So this is a not quite video for you guys. Some of this stuff is so um some of this stuff has not been shown off and thus is brand new um, but some of it I cannot say is brand new here on PMAC Movies. But let's take a look at some of these box sets. First we got the Murder She Wrote complete collection and there are some Grove deals out there so I got this from Grove with 10% off then Grove put out a 20% off coupon so I could have saved more money I think like seven more dollars on this son of a gun but that's how it is with buying movies you know you get it you get what you think's a great deal and then a better deal comes so that was 60 bucks 10% off um, one thing you got to be careful about with Grub is I noticed when you have a discount, they still charge sales tax on the pre-coupon price, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, so I might actually reach out to them about that because it does add up. You know, I've placed several orders with them, but this is like 12 seasons, um, for 60 bucks and then minus whatever coupon you can get so now you can get you can get a better deal than I did you can use the 20% off code um, which is you know pretty easy to find if you know how to use the internet um, but Murder She Wrote complete collection definitely a good value for the money now it, this is like over 60 disc set here um, so some of these discs were scuffed up and it does have like the individual season sets, which I like a lot more than those thicker boxes, you know, those thicker cases where it puts all these discs in the thing and you get a lot of loose discs and stuff. I don't know that this set had many loose discs, but there were several scuffed up discs and I went back and forth through email with Grubbs customer service and eventually got the, what I wanted is for them to just send me because it's like it's direct from universal so i wanted them to just like send me the discs that i needed and they couldn't do that the best next best option was for them to send me a new set me to put together the best set from those two sets and then ship back the damaged stuff in in a whole set and they and like I kind of went back with them a few times. Like, if I send this set back and you send me a new set, there's going to be issues with the new set. Also, because there's over 60 discs, some of them are going to be scuffed up. This is DVDs, not Blu-ray. So I went back and forth, and eventually she, the girl talked to her supervisor, who agreed to do, like, basically what you can do with Amazon, is they'll send the replacement right away, and then you can put to piece together the best set out of the two and then send back the you know the damaged set which makes more sense so she agreed to do that and then you know so I got that that one on the way and then I'll put together the better set and send back the um the crap set so that's that um, another one, I pre-ordered this one for over 80 You know, it was a good, it was like 78 bucks plus tax, so it ended up being like 80-something, this Christopher Lee, uh, the Euro Crypt of Christopher Lee Severin set. And deep discount, actually, they used a box. They had one thing, of, like bubble in there, like the air bubble, but they didn't have like, they didn't have it bubble wrapped or anything, which would have been nice. And it's in really good condition, except for this corner which got damaged. So they're back ordered now. I mean, I think this set is like, this set is sold out places, back ordered places. Um, so I had mentioned it on Blu-ray.com and somebody said, you know, that he could sell me just a box for 10 bucks. 
And I decided to do it because I had emailed Deep Discount, and I think they're going to give me, probably they're going to offer me 10%. Um, I have not received a reply back yet, but I think that's kind of what they do is 10%. So if I get 10% back, it'll be seven or eight bucks, which pretty much pays for the close to the 10 bucks I paid extra for the box. So I, I did open this and then one of the discs, it looks like one of the discs was like dropped at the factory on the Sherlock Holmes set. So, you know, you look at, and you get this more often with Blu-rays now, there's several scratches and little things on this. I don't, you know, with the lighting, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, eh. But just trust me, there's several scratches on this, um, which is disappointing. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that Severin will replace this disc, but I don't know that they're the greatest company based on what I've heard. So I'll I'll get back to you guys on that if they actually help me out with that. You would think that they would. It's the, you know this is not the deep discount issue or whatever was the the packing, but. Um, you know, Severin should be responsible for their discs inside, but we'll see. So that was, I was excited about that set. I was actually really, I was, I was pretty upset about this because I know, um, like Deep Discount packed it decently, but in the end it can kind of go around in there and, you know, UPS gets, UPS is probably responsible for the dent, but Deep Discount, all they need to do is bubble wrap it. It would have been fine. And this is a, this is not like just a little tiny dent. That's a pretty good dent. You know, you look at that and the other corners are nice and pristine and then you get that, that dent. So I was, I was quite disappointed with that. It's actually a nice thick box that it would have to get pretty hit to, to have that damage. And then another, these Criterion box sets, it just, it doesn't make any sense. This is, I, which I was very excited about, w Wong Kar Wai, the box set. And this, this packaging, it's just, you open this up and then you get in there and the discs are in the middle. And so there's, there's, this is a pretty weighty package. There's pressure. There's a book in there. There, these discs are getting pressure in there. Even if you keep it upright, you shouldn't lay these sets flat. You should keep them upright. But even then, the discs just get so much pressure in there that I take a look at a lot of the discs and they have scratches and marks where like stuff's been pressed against it. And then you, you know, you pull it apart. There's little like dots on the discs. And a lot of people are reporting issues with this from this set. And it's, I just, I don't understand Criterion. I mean, this is supposed to be one of the top, the top movie labels, and they just don't understand how to box together a set. And I don't know all the ins and outs of the financial pieces of it. They put a nice book together in there, so that's costing them money. But to do that, I would prefer there not being a book and for my movies to actually be mint, not damaged, and to be able to play them properly. And with so many people having issues with this set and it being an obvious issue with the packaging, it just this packaging for this set, which is a really nice set, this has a lot of movies that I want on it. Some movies like Chunking Express that I sold. Here's a list of the movies right there. It's just, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. It's like I'm speechless to how they could possibly... You got this company with people that apparently care about these movies and, and you know, art and all that stuff to put together this package. It just makes you question the people making the decisions at the company. And if that doesn't make you question it, this sir, surely will. This, this, uh, look at how they put together this big thing, which most collectors don't even want this sort of thing. And I'm not going to open it all up because it's a pain. But this is a 15 Blu-ray set. You know, you got the, the back there. It says it's a 15 Blu-ray set. It's got a... Um, a lot of movies on it, a lot of Fellini movies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it looks like fourteen movies. 
This is a horrible, horribly packaged set. It's close to as bad as the Wong Kar Wai set. It's similar to like the Bergman set, but I got two of these sets and both of them just have the discs are just falling around in there. When I open this, there is discs. There is, let's see, one, two, three, four, at least four discs that were out and there was like two of them each stuck together. And those discs, those discs are just destroyed. They were like stuck together and you had to like pull them apart. It's just, it's horrible. I just, whoever made the decision to, to package these that way. And I don't, you don't know if it's like one person or who, it's just idiotic. It's like if you put some total morons together in the same room to come up with packaging for movies where these are collectors who want their discs to be protected in the packaging, you would have to put together just complete moronic idiots in the same room to come up with this packaging. And actually, it's almost like Criterion did this on purpose, which I have no idea why they would, but... If you showed a few people, like, total complete idiots, a few box sets, you know, just like a Blu-ray case with a bunch of discs in there, and they could come up with better packaging than this, seriously, without being shown, like, how to, those packages, maybe they would come up with this, but even, I think if you just showed some morons, some, some sets of movies like here's a blu-ray case like a thick blu-ray case and you put together um a bunch of um trays in there and this is it, it's generally good enough or even like how paramount does their their dvd sets which for dvds not very good you end up with a lot of scratch discs blu-rays it's still pretty good because most of them will stay on there even if you get some loose ones uh, you know, the scratch protection will help. These sets, however, they still get damaged, even being Blu-rays, even all those things. It's just, I, I don't understand it. It's frustrating me even thinking about it. Um, I've been thinking about emailing Criterion and putting together some sort of letter about, with trying to be nice about it, but almost it's like, this is just complete idiocy this is complete foolishness how you package these things and you know you take a look at how mill creek has packaged things in the past where it's like why would they do this dvds on spindles um but that's a budget company this is criterion sets putting together sets where they're putting these sets for like these directors and they're trying to make real nice packages and they're expensive you know over a hundred bucks each and it's just, it's just, I mean, it, it, I, I, I get tongue-tied just think I'm, like, I'm getting stressed just thinking about this. I need to move on. It's just unexplainable unless they're like, let's put together, let's just totally put together something where we know the discs are going to be damaged and we just want to irritate collectors. It's almost like they had to do it on purpose. It's, it's unbelievable. Um... Let's move on, because I'm, I'm getting wore out just thinking about it. Um, let's move on to some some uh, more Grub stuff, which I don't know if I've shown off before. I think I did in a, in a live video. I don't know that I did in like a regular video. I'm going to get through these quick now, because I've worn myself out getting frustrated about the Criterions. We got Ed TV with six bucks. Um... Journey to the Far Side of the Moon, six bucks. I don't know if they have that deal anymore, two for 12, but if they do, you'd get the 20% off probably also. Monty Python's Meaning of Life, uh, six bucks in that deal, or two for 12, or three, for, I think it was three for 18. And then um, Out of Sight was six dollars with George Clooney and Jennifer Lopez. I really got to get through these quick now because I'm a little bit shaky from drinking some coffee and stressed. From the movies and the heat. I don't have air conditioning in the house. Oh man, you gotta hydrate. I got some other stuff in here from Grov. So these ones um, might have sold, the backdraft sold out. This was 
20% off. I, I didn't get it 20% off, unfortunately. So that was a real great deal. Backdraft 4K. Van Helsing 4K, another really good deal. You might still be able to get this for the 20% off, which I did not get 20% off on it. It's like $10.99. Um, some other miscellaneous deals in here. This Open Water 3-pack. You can find it at some Walmarts for $5. Um, it does not have a digital code with it. It does have InstaWatch on it. So 5 bucks for the Open Water Trilogy. Pretty good. Whew. I'm overheating now. It takes a lot for me to get hot, but I'm overheating. Um, this blue and gray set was $2 from Goodwill. Three discs. Um, this was 15 bucks. It's a Horror Classics Volume 1. This was from uh, Dollar General for 15 bucks. Oh, man. Getting a little dizzy now. This is just all going to be... This is all going to be um, kind of put together here, the various things. I got some more Dollar General, some Pawn Shop. So this was 3 bucks at the Pawn Shop. Home Alone, Home Alone 2... With Slippy, this is a Disney Movie Club exclusive. Um, so it does have a digital code for both of these movies. And I believe it's a Blu-ray DVD set. So this is a nice set. I can get rid of the rest of my Home Alone sets that I have. Um, this was also $3 from the Pawn Shop. Papillon. It is a um, used rental copy, but I believe it's in mint condition. 3 bucks. This was $1 from the pawn shop Slice from uh, Lionsgate A24 DVD. Another $1 DVD from the pawn shop. We got Norman with Richard Gere. This is a Sony Pictures Classics. Got a little martial arts here. I believe this was another dollar one from the pawn shop. It is The Fifth Commandment. I like to grab these ones when they're cheap. Um, this is another one, $3 from the Pawn Shop. It is MI5, starring Kit Harrington from Game of Thrones. Was glad to find this one. It was one that I wanted, but just had never, had never been able to get it cheap. I got a second copy of Hammer of the Gods from Dollar Tree. Um, this is another Pawn Shop one. It is In Her Skin. I do like me some uh, Guy Pierce. This also has Sam Neill in it. So that looked pretty interesting. It is a MPI IFC Films release. Um, screen Queen, Queensland. So this is like an Australian horror movie, it looks like. I was in Queensland for eight months a few years ago. And then this is another Dollar Tree one. Uh, Geisha of Death, which has Geisha of Death and then two other movies, Ring of Fire 3, Lion Strike, and Blackjack, which is a Dolph Lundgren movie. It's actually a two-disc set. Um, apparently, this Geisha of Death movie is called Entity? I don't know. And then the other two movies are on this one. Seemed like a good deal for a buck. This was, I think, five bucks from Dollar General. Um, it's a four-movie set. They each have their own disc. And it has Dead Snow and I Sell the Dead. I already have the Blu-rays of those. I did not have Pontypool and Doghouse. Doghouse is an IFC Midnight one. So that looked pretty interesting. And then this is a $1 one from uh, Dollar General Wushu Warrior. Like I said, I like to get these ones when they're cheap, those sort of martial arts ones. Um, we got some Hamilton book, which I don't know what I did. I had the Matlock Season 1 through 4 DVD, which is 15 bucks on Hamilton book. And Hamilton book is doing an update tonight, which is Monday. This video, however, will not be posted until later this week. So you are watching this maybe uh, later in the week, but... Hamilton Book is doing an update here on June 28th, so we'll see. Um, but this is Terms of Endearment here. This was maybe six dollars, five or six bucks from Hamilton Book. Deborah Winger, Shirley MacLaine, Jack Nicholson read good things about it, and snaggied it up. 
we have a Shout Factory one that I decided to grab. It is Brazilian Western. Blu-ray DVD combo. Grab that for five or six bucks also. And then this one was something like that. All this six or eight bucks. One of the Dead. This is a Focus World release. Sounded pretty good. Got good reviews. We got some Dollar Tree. I am i don't think I showed these off. We got the Reef Blu-ray from Dollar Tree. We got Blo God Bless America. We got uh, Nature Calls. Uh, Mission of Honor. And Force Majeure, which for some reason I haven't opened this one yet. I open all my movies to check the discs. So it's weird that isn't open. Let's see, we got some more Dollar Tree DVDs. We got uh, Rain Wilson and Patricia Arquette in Permanent with Slipcover. We have Chai Lai Angels, Dangerous Flowers. Now this one... And I don't really, this is a magnet one. I don't really mess around with like exchanges, but this disc, it's got like that stuff where like it looks like it's inside the disc. You can't wipe it off. So this one might not play properly, but I'm not going to mess around with a dollar movie. Uh, Minutes Past Midnight. This is a uh, uh, Rue Morgue release, Raven Banner, um, like a Canadian company. So that was pretty interesting. Polaroid, which for some reason I did not open. My Blueberry Nights. This is actually a Wong Kar Wai movie. I did not realize that when I got it, so that's pretty cool. Um, looks like a good cast and everything. Is that Jude Law in there? Jude Law, David Strathairn, um, Natalie Portman, Rachel Weisz, um, Nora Jones... Okay, that uh, David Strathorn always reminds me of Strum Dog from the Blu-ray.com message boards, and I think he's he sends stuff to some YouTubers. He's he, he I get the feeling that this guy's like it's like David Strathorn on the, his his little picture, and he's had it for many many years, and he's he's kind of a douche on Blu-ray.com. And then, you know, he sends stuff to people who totally don't need it. And he's just kind of like he acts real like arrogant and like he's better than other people. And his like little David Strathorn picture. What it? This guy in real life has got to be a total D-bag. Um, but anyway, Strum Dog. Shout out to Strum Dog. Big D-bag on Blu-ray.com. He's had argue. I've seen him have arguments with a lot of various posters on Blu-ray.com. Um, and he just, he's, you could tell like how he says stuff. He's just a weenie. Um, we got another Raven Banner releasing one, the Lodgers. This actually looks really good. I should watch this today. The Lodgers, the disc actually looks really cool too. That is nice. This is another Raven Banner one. A film by Brian O'Malley. Wow, this looks oppressively heavy gothic atmosphere atmosphere gothic family curse confines orphan twins rachel and edwards to their home as punishment for their ancestors sins bound to the rules of a haunting childhood lullaby the twins must never let any outsiders into the house must be in their rooms by the chime of midnight and must never be separated from one another Breaking any of these rules will incur the wrath of a sinister presence that inhabits the house after midnight. Sounds really good. And if you ever, you know, go on Blu-ray.com and, and tell Strum Dog he's a douche and PMAC Movie sent you. <laughs> David Strathairn. Um, another Magnet DVD. We got The Last Days of Mars here. Um... Looks pretty cool. Nice slippy dippy. Magnet does have really, really nice slippies. Liev Schreiber in this one. Also, Elias Cotius, Cotius, Olivia Williams. He's in space. Strum Dog believes in space, I'm sure. He believes in wearing masks and getting vaxxed. Anyway, um, we got Catwoman from Dollar General. Um, yes, this is a terrible movie however 
Um, I remember going to the drive-ins to see it with friends back in the day. So I wanted it, and it wasn't. I didn't actually pay five ninety-five. I had like a little coupon and stuff. Um, this one was only a dollar. Three Musketeers, um, only a buck from Asylum Entertainment. That was another Dollar General one. Um, this one is like a rental exclusive. I think you could only get this as a rental. It was a pawn shop one, the East for three bucks. I do have an extra copy of that, so I'll sell one of them. Z for Zachariah, which I saw the trailer of this on one of my other movies, and it looked actually pretty good. Pretty like a conflict between uh, Shewettel Oljafor and Chris Pine fighting over Margot Robbie or something like that, it looked like. Um, and then Vince Vaughn and Four Christmases. I believe I also got this from the pawn shop for three bucks. Um, and then we got another Hamilton book one, which I was watching this. I still got to finish it. Five Deadly Venoms here. This was like eight bucks, but this is out of print. So it was a pretty good deal. And I was watching it on the 65 inch TV and it, I thought it looked pretty good. So can't complain too much about Five Deadly Venom. So we got through the rest of that pretty quick. I'm a little bit shaky because I drank some coffee and I get stressed out about Criterion Collection. Really, I Criterion. Nah, I don't even talk about it anymore, PMAC. But I think that is the end of this video. So we will see you guys next time on PMAC Movies. Hope you're doing well. And uh, take a look in the description section for ways that you can help out the channel. And we will see you guys next time on BMAC Movies.